Unstoppable domains give you a human readable address for your wallet. So instead of someone sending you crypto via your address like OX12XY, you can actually just say, hey, my crypto address is james.crypto, send crypto to that address, and then that will actually reach your wallet. So uh, in this video, we're gonna look at unstoppable domains, what NFT domains actually are, how to go through and get one, and then mint the NFT so that that's in your wallet, and how this actually works in terms of people using your name as a human readable address, sending you crypto, and you can even build domains on these as well. So we're gonna go through the entire platform uh, in this video. I'll leave the timestamps for each section in the description. If you wanna sign up and get an unstoppable domain, I'll leave the link to them in the description as well. Before we get into the tutorial on how to actually get a domain and then mint it, you know, why use one of these? When NFT domain, as you can see, especially on Unstoppable, there are no renewal fees. Um, so you just buy the NFT. This is on the Matic network, so really, really cheap. Um, you have that NFT forever in your wallet. You can build a domain, you can build a website off this domain, um, but also people can just send you crypto to that domain. So you can say my wallet address is james.wallet and anyone that sends crypto to james.wallet that will find its way into whichever wallet that you have that NFT in. So you can switch through different wallets. Um, so an NFT domain, as you can see here, essentially gives you a human readable name so people can send crypto to it. But importantly, through unstoppable domains, it's not just on one network. You can actually have this one wallet domain and you can put all of your different addresses to it, which I think is really good. So if people want to send you Bitcoin or Ethereum or Cardano ADA or many other chains, you can just use this one wallet address and it can route the crypto through all of the different wallets that you associate with it. So that's pretty cool as an option. Um, also just coming down to some of the other differences here. So yeah, human readable address. So instead of it being like this, you can just register the, the domain james.crypto and then put all of your different wallets in there. Um, so you can have different domain extensions, right? So you can see here .wallet, .coin, .crypto, and anything you want as long as it's available. Um, on Unstoppable, there are no renewal fees. So if you get a .eth domain name, which is obviously really popular as well, you actually have to renew that. So you can essentially buy that for a number of years and you can buy it forever, right? You can buy it for like 200 years, um, but you do have to pay per year and then you have to pay gas fees as well. On Unstoppable Domains, they actually use the Matic network to mint this NFT and so you just essentially don't pay any gas fees um, and it's a one-off fee so there's no renewals. As long as you own that NFT, you'll have that forever. You can trade it out if you want and, and sell it if you want to do that. But it's cross-chain as well, so it's not just Matic network. Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, Cardano, and many others. I'll get to these supported in a second. But essentially, if you have um, you know, a wallet address on a specific chain, you can go into your unstoppable dashboard, put it in there, and then you can route all of your payments through this one address. They are ERC721 NFTs. So that's what you mint. That's what you have in your Matic wallet. Um, and then you can trade them on OpenSea if you want as well. So you can come to the Unstoppable Domains website and search for a wallet address or a domain name just like you would on GoDaddy. Uh, the difference is once you have the NFT, it's in your wallet forever. So if you choose a very short domain name, uh, something with few letters or a name, that's obviously going to be really expensive. So James.wallet is $30,000. If you want to you know, pay the money for that, you can. Um, but I'm going to search for something a little bit more unique to me, which is MZG Club, which is my crypto community. Um, and I can get mzgclub.crypto. You can see it's $80 here. Most domains, especially if they're a bit longer, um, are gonna be between kind of 20 and $80, but it's a one-time um, fee to have that NFT domain name forever. So you can see I've added this to my cart already. If you click continue to cart, if you're not logged in yet, it'll ask you to log in. You can pay through various methods. Uh, I usually pay with a credit card. You can, I think you can use PayPal or you can actually pay via Ethereum as well. Um, so choose the one that you want to pay with. You have to choose whether you live in the USA or not. Um, I think you can buy from any country, but you just have to choose that. So I'm gonna click checkout right here and actually buy mzgclub.crypto. So you can see that they'll just give you the domain name, make sure that it's all correct. Uh, and then obviously pay with your preferred method. So once the purchase has gone through, you now own that domain, but you're gonna have to mint the domain on the Matic network as well. So um, once you go through to the confirm page down here, it should say mint, because you haven't minted it yet. Or the other way is to just go to domains 
and then click my domains and it will come up here to all the domains that you've purchased and you can see all the links of them here. So what you can see is that I've already got some domains that I purchased a long time ago that have already been minted and they're in my wallet. But you can see obviously here, the one that I just bought, mzgclub.crypto is grayed out. And that means that I own um, that domain name, but I haven't minted it yet. So you can see not minted. You can actually mint for free on the Matic network. If you want to do it on the Ethereum network, you have to pay those fees if you want it on that network for some reason. But you can link all of your different addresses through the Unstoppable dashboard anyway. So I don't know why you'd want it on the Ethereum network. Um, that's up to you, but you can go free mint on Polygon. So I'm gonna click here and it says mint domain on Polygon. Polygon, is, um, Polygon blockchain fees are covered by Unstoppable because they're very uh, cheap. So you can learn more about that or just press continue. So I'm gonna press continue right here and it's gonna load up the wallet that I'm gonna use. Important at this point is to know you need a MetaMask wallet with Matic added to it. So if you don't know what MetaMask is or how to use it or how to set it up, I'll leave that tutorial in the description. It goes through step-by-step step, downloading MetaMask and getting it set up and then setting it up with the Ethereum network and other networks as well, for example, Matic. Um, so as you can see here, I've got my MetaMask. If you don't know anything about MetaMask, link in the description for that. Um, but you can see my assets here. I've got uh, my burner wallet set up here with some Matic in there. And I've actually added this before, as you can see. So it's remembered that I have five domains in that Matic address. You can add a different wallet if you want it to go to a different wallet by adding a new wallet address here. Um, so you can click this, add new wallet. Then you can choose whatever wallet provider that you have. You don't need MetaMask, you can use any of these, but um, obviously set that up. Um, and link that very easily. For example, Coinbase wallet, you can just scan a QR code and it links up the wallet and then the NFT will go into that wallet. Now you can send NFTs between wallets as well, um, but I'm just going to choose my existing wallet right here so I can click that um, and then the domain will be minted within that wallet. Once you press confirm on this, it will take a minute or two for that NFT domain to be minted and then it's gonna go right into this wallet and be sent. So just click on I understand and then press confirm. That's gonna take a little bit of time and you do need to confirm that via your email as well. So make sure you get that confirmation code. Now you just have to wait for that minting process to end. That should take a few minutes. And then after that, the NFT itself will be in the wallet that you chose. Now what we can do is manage the domain that we've just minted and make it way more useful by adding in all of our crypto addresses in the Unstoppable dashboard. So come to domains and then my domains. I'm just gonna choose uh, an NFT that I minted a while back with that domain. And we need to come and change the uh, crypto addresses. So come down to crypto here. You can see you can add in all of your different crypto addresses. So if you've got a Bitcoin address, Ethereum address, and then Matic, Binance Smart Chain, all of those, you can add that in here. But if I press add currency, I'm just gonna choose Cardano because I use this network. Um, so I can put my Cardano address in um, and then just this website or domain name will point to all of these different addresses. That's probably one of the best use cases for this. Uh, so other things you can do is transfer. So if you want to take the NFT out of the wallet that you have it in and send it to another wallet, you can do that here. And you can actually sell the domain. So if you register a bunch of them and wanna sell one, you can do that either on the Unstoppable website. So when people search for the domain, it says it's for sale, or you can sell it as an NFT on OpenSea as well. If you need to know how to set up MetaMask, that link is in the description. I'll leave the link to Unstoppable down there as well for you. I'm James with MoneyZG. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.